I feel like a Disney princess sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Meet Julie. You might say she has a way with birds. But it wasn't always this way. One day, Julie noticed a blue jay on her deck who seemed to want to say hi. But what surprised her was that the next day, he was back. And the next day, and the next. Soon, Julie was spending every day with her new feathered friend, so she decided to give him a name, Stormy. Julie would sit very still so that Stormy wouldn't get scared. After a while, it seemed like Stormy was starting to trust her more and more. She knew that every morning she could open her door and her favorite bird would flutter out to see her. Good morning. There we go. Until winter came. Julie missed seeing her friend. But she didn't have to wait long. Because when spring returned, there Stormy was. And this time, he brought Walter. Walter couldn't have been friendlier. You're braver than Stormy. Soon, Julie's flock of friends began to grow. Lenny and Squiggy were two of the most playful chickadees in the world. They would come right up to her window. Can Julie come out and play? No matter what Julie was doing, Hi there. She always made time for her friends. Hi guys, hi there. And they loved her. All of Julie's new visitors made her heart full. Until one day, everything changed. Julie had to move. I had to say goodbye to Lenny and Squiggy today and Walter and feed them for the last time. When she got to her new home, she was nervous. She had worked so hard to get the birds to trust her once. Could she do it again? Hi. Every morning, Julie opened the door, but the birds all flew away. She was devastated. She missed Stormy and Walter and Lenny and Squiggy. But Julie wasn't going anywhere. She remembered how she made friends with Stormy. So she brought these new birds tasty treats too. And showed them respect by not getting too close. And after a lot of patience and a lot of peanuts, something amazing happened. Julie named her new pal Morty. And then came Juniper. And Jack and Winnie. And they introduced her to their baby. Julie will never forget her old friends. But she feels lucky to have a whole new group of amazing bird pals. Being a bird magnet may mean waking up really early and buying peanuts in bulk, but Julie wouldn't have it any other way. And neither would the birds. Dodo Kids! Help the kittens find the subscribe button.